What is up, people on YouTube? We're back in action, and I'm gonna do a time run. Time year nine, let's go. Unless the daily is like eight, nine, or ten. No, year two, that's trash. Bunch of garbage, water, what I say. Let's go. Never seen this game before. Can you describe it? Chat might have a better uh, chance to describe it accurately. Do you? Maybe. Starting with two drones and three bees. Interesting. So time, really, really long days, but uh, every time I take damage, I lose time in my day. During the day, we want to go out, travel around, try to get a bunch of seeds and upgrades and animals. Crap. Champion right out the gate. Come on. Okay. Yeah, we already have bees. The two drones are gonna stick with me and they're gonna fire at my own enemies. They're not that strong though, so maybe we can go drone upgrades. And increase their damage, their range, their bunch of other stuff. Uh, and then at nighttime, we go back to the farm and we want to plant stuff and defend the farm. Lots of bees. That's a damage upgrade mushroom. Tempted to take it. Mini boss near? I can maybe get to the mini boss by the time that this damage upgrade wears off. The watering tractor that we just picked up. 63, is that with the damage upgrade? I think that was. Thundercloud zaps enemies, takes away 25% of their health. Barks between all enemies. So this is basically just a practice at never taking damage if you want to have a successful time run. Lard enemy bullets are slower. That's going to be good because enemy bullets are really spa uh, fast right now. Little Lucky, 33 months. Thank you for that. Appreciate you guys sticking with me this late. Especially through games that are not Isaac. So we have still have a, a minute 25 left in the day. We should be able to, if we don't take any damage, clear out every biome once a day. So the shocks used to be 50% of enemy health, and it was the most overpowered thing ever. The spud rifle upgraded gave you shock, just inherently. 50% of enemy health, just like that. It was such a good gun, and then it got nerfed, and now it's still a really good gun. It's just not as OP. And we have so many bees. Let's see if we can find bees uh, water crops upgrade. I love when you play Atomicrops. It's my favorite series you have done other than Isaac. It'd be really cool if they uh, had like a really deep modding scene in this. They gave modding tools like Isaac, make it super easy. If there was a De Rules mod for, for this. With the water tractor that we got, we're pretty much gonna be set on seeds, because you get seeds back when you water. We have a chicken too. We probably got a chicken right away. Uh, was that five bees? To be able to get this um, super rose grown. All right, nighttime. So now the enemies come. We gotta defend the farm. Making super crops is gonna be really nice because uh, before the four individual plants, we had four bees on the individual plants. But now that they're all super, there's one bee per super plant. They boost the crops so they grow faster. Pretty good. We could also, get, like I said, get the bees water crops as well. That'd be really nice. Why am I not watering anything? You guys see this? I'm not watering my own plants. There we go. I don't know what that was about. 
I might not get this rose watered if I can't whip and get my water can to work. I think we have to do one less task to get energized now. That was one of the upgrades that I bought. I'm on a fertilizer. It's not good. For mining, or not mining, but uh, weeding. Enemies always drop fertilizer. Get this can right here that gives us a bunch of fertilizer. This mine cart will give us fertilizer. When I put the fertilizer on the plants, if I plant them in a two by two grid, that's what makes super crops that are worth a lot more. Tom crops is in C sharp like Gungeon is, so it shouldn't take much more than writing a minor mod loader to get Mod the Gungeon like support. Speaking of, though, Gungeon, I mean, having a. A, a, a Darul's mod for Gungeon would be pretty choice. Basically, all it's doing is just putting a GUI to the capabilities that are already there, right? 94, I honestly expected to do better than that. Gallet Gun or Blunder Bloom. I'm gonna go with. If I can get the Gas Cloud with sh uh, Shallot Gun, it's good. Most range shot deal extra damage. I didn't know that with the Blunder Bloom. Alright. For some damage, we didn't get it. It's gonna be really hard to take out the, the birds with this gun. Chance to energize friends when an enemy is killed could be really good. Or turrets and drones fire faster. Shoot. I'm go with the drone play here. I, I do like energizing my buds. Got a pot of water on the cow's side. I don't know why I always thought it was a hole in the cow that sprayed the water. No, they carry buckets. And they have buckets. Never name. Dev consider trying to make a Darul's mod for Gungeon, but the major problem is... The major problem there is the GUI. Nobody has ever made a custom menu for Gungeon before. Nobody knows how. Hmm. It's like, I could learn how to type all the stuff in. It's just like, you know? But there's so much capability there. We're just typing into the command line, but there's probably stuff that I don't even know and will never know. Probably won't take that time. Not excited for birds. Dungeon code is literally spaghetti. When someone changes your code, you're like, somebody touching me spaghetti? Low hanging fruit. I a turret here. I did not mean to use that. That was a fat finger. Oh. Hey, boss. Kind of difficult to see what's going on right now. My, my drones are actually really helpful right now with the birds, specifically. Get the fertilizer! You can clump them together, I guess it's not bad. Uh, 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 uh. 
Ooh, Megaton! Megaton does everything and damages enemies. It's so good. Best tractor by far. We cleared this. We have a minute left. Oh, no, we didn't. Now we did. <laughs> uh, Energize always at low health or bees turns weeds into flowers. I didn't even see what shot me there. Didn't see it. And that bunny slept soundly through me murdering its friend right next to it. Megaton is good. Best thing we can get right now, besides participation trophy, always. Participation trophy, always, always, always. Uh, probably the, one of the best things that we could get would be fertilizer recharges our tractor. Also, just the crampons, the weed stomp, and the the other one. Kill soil with our feet. They're also some of the best. Up she rises, up she rises. <laughs> Kill the moon! I have murdered the moon once already. We have nine fertilizer, we're pretty short. Pretty short on fertilizer. Too bad the uh, Megaton get, doesn't give me fertilizer, or it doesn't fertilize the plants either. I don't know on seeds. I'm gonna use it to um, make our farm bigger as well. Make it done when it's ready. No sense of wasting it. We have a somewhat of a flower play right now with this many bees. Turning the weeds into flowers, and the flowers I can sell for money. Slugs get extra violent when they don't have something to eat on your farm. They could also just not come to my farm, you know? That could be a cool thing. Thought about that? Bing, bing, bing. You stomp the tiny little weeds, you can actually get them with your feet first. Crushed it this day, we're at a thousand monies. Absolutely smashed it. That's why I don't like time. Once you've cleared it, it's cleared. Now what? Eventually, I just start taking damage on purpose. Rusty Smg. Oh, yeah. If I get piercing on that, that'd be really good for the jungle. Range damage. Explosive rounds. That's also pretty good. Piercing. Done. Increase turret and drone range. We're going drone build. Let's do it. 
on you to change the game entitled Nightbot Twitch having disagreement. Um, I'll have to just go through all my stuff since the whole like Twitch leak thing and then all the tokens changing and all that. So go through it. I'll make sure they're all linked properly. It's probably the problem. I did change it. Oh, you're right. I didn't change it from Blazing Beaks. Sorry. Tama crops and year nine time. Did that even make the farm any bigger? I'm gonna aim up the outskirts of the farm, maybe. Champion. Bees! That's a lot of seeds, wow. Mini boss, back at the start. We'll loop back around for it. Bees nuts, Lamau, Super Skip Bros, 57, what's up? This isn't Blazing Beaks. Or is it the new update for it? What if they had a Blazing Beaks Tomacrops crossover? B! What is this, comedy from 2012? Am I gonna go for a damage upgrade? Probably not, honestly. Not worth the time loss. I need 30 fertilizer though to even get the farming upgrade. And here it is, answer my prayers. Thanks bud. Very short on fertilizer though. Farming stat up gives me uh, increased digging and all the time it takes to do the stuff. Planting and the other one gives you damage and sp and speed. Beat drop. 25% chance to get a heartbeat seed upon taking damage. We enemies turns weeds into flowers. Probably gonna take the fertilizer at this point. How turrets or crops grow faster at night? Faster at night. I wonder if they would get the turret upgrades though. I wonder if that would count. Boss time. You can keep up with me. This is a good gun to have for this fight. Wowzers. That was sauce. And the increased fertilizer drops too with that. Woo! That feels really good. Look at me go. When we're away too, the bees just go ham on the flowers. Mm, 
girl. We need weeds grow faster. Get me pigs. Our beet seeds that'd be nice to have. It right now. Everyone overlooks the fact that the arms dealer also sells guns to rabbits to time and cheat. something already there. Roses, 2006. Oh my god, you guys. I want to go for a record breaker here. I think it's like 1,300,000 is my record. How do you base what direction you go on what gun you have? Do you base what direction I go on? I, I base what gun I buy on the direction I'm already going to go. I think it does actually step up in difficulty left, right, down, up. Look at that cow. He's surrounded with bees. What are more crops when energized? Might be the best I've ever done in the first day. We needed like 900 to get the top prize. We cows. Zap. Watering crops zaps nearby enemies for half their health. Okay, so that one's still half. Unless they didn't change the text. Probably the case. Earthquake, bridge repair, pickaxe pack. Have you heard of a game called Inscription? Or version of Slay the Spire? Interesting. Uh, no, I've not seen it. I'll take the biodegrader. I hope we get the gas. Size, clip, faster reload, fire. Yeah, the gas, fire, I meant the fire. That's what I meant, you got it. It should be pretty good for clearing out the winter biome. And 200 for another pickaxe pack, I'm in. You know what, we need the seeds. My buddy bought me inscription, can't wait to play it. It will
Damage upgrade or water and crops creates a shield. I'm gonna go damage upgrade. Boss. The mockery breeze. I'm gonna turret on that one. A couple turrets rolling. Motivator. I want it, don't need it. Don't know where the main boss is yet. Left side. Like the I, I don't want to fight the other mini boss guy. No thanks. What would you call them? Champions? Mini boss champions? It's got to be a distinction. I think the mini bosses are actually called like the tree bosses or something like that. Killing energizes me. I love it. This guy is a tree boss. My old bastard. Resilience crops spread into hard crust. It's honestly not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I don't even actually like it at all. If we can remember that damage room is there, we can come back for it during a boss fight. I think it's just unnecessary right now. Too much left to, to kill. Would have been a bit overkill. Um, we're done. We're done here. Turrets down. Do we have any Brock? We do have some Brock. That's super Brock. I didn't see what shot me there. It must have been a really slow moving bullet. Undetectable to the naked eye. Faster fire it in the turrets. Pretty good. Pretty much deters the slugs because it shoots so fast it just knocks them back instantly. I can't come any closer. It's not coming a mile away, you're just bad. You're really digging the I'm pretending to be Tim thing, aren't you? It doesn't count, I didn't actually trash talk you. Tim did. Didn't you see the emote? I need more fertilizer. <laughs> Crampons would be so nice. Indigo Dragon. It's just get participation trophy. Isn't that hard? Once again, just completely cock blocked. 
by a lack of fertilizer right now. I think it's on that slices dices, but doesn't fertilize. Really nice if it did. Cutting additional weeds. I'll go for it. Energize all friends when you take damage. Let's go. Cutting weeds increases or decreases bullet speed and increases movement speed. Energize when a tractor is used. Let's do the damage energize friends thing. I don't expect it to happen, but another drone? Another B? I'm gonna buy a gun first. Um, I also have to buy two bridge pieces. We're going deep, and I don't have that much money to spend on a weapon. You'd be worried. Sorry, B. It's like, wait! Prefer the wood chipper. Wood chipper's pretty good. Skills enemies, gives you fertilizer for it. Especially if you have fertilizer drops up. Hmm. Pick of the devil. This is gonna be a tough one here. Catling, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get out of the way of those cows in a trash farm. Gas cans. Prioritize moving over shooting. From mates, so good. I don't even see what the other one was. It was all max heartbeats except one gain four heartbeat seeds for each max heartbeat lost. I don't have the ability to like fertilize them back. So are we gonna go nitro? Is it worth it? Is it worth it in our current state? I wanna say no, it's not worth it. We don't have the ability to keep them watered. Come back later maybe, but. I don't think any of them are gonna be really good right now. Carrot tractor gives me iframes for a short while. Jinch has one shot the champion. That's really fucking interesting. Guess I'll die. Holy dick looking. Batman. Really screwed me over. Megaton did not just one shot kill that guy like it did everything else. Which night? Who's here? Watch out for the flaming, uh... Ah! Flaming everything. The flaming hot Cheetos.
flaming slugs are a real big problem. These guys. that moon butt though. Freya, what's up? We have a bunch of turrets I need to put down. help. Which... I got a scroll from her, nice. Elder Witch Scrolls. Plans for Halloween, huts. I don't have too many plans for Halloween, no. Not the moment. I should come up with some, though. Surprisingly, surprisingly we're short on uh, fertilizer still here. Despite all the radishes just dropping off, or turnips, or whatever the hell they are. Loading me up. Fertilizer. It's been such a long night. You're not going trick or treating? La 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 No one says Christmas. Move our turrets out, maybe. Maybe time right now. What time? I think it was asked before you are you playing any spooky games? I don't have any spooky games lined up, but it'd be really fun. It'd be really fun to also uh Bring in my girlfriend to do some spooky stuff with me. Get dressed up. Pray and pray. It's one of my favorites. Let's get married. I think I want to marry you. Just say I do. Because we're not taking damage on the shrines. It's a decent way to get some damage upgrades right now. Tell me right now, baby. Tell me right now, baby, baby. Be zombie Santa. That would take like special effects work. What doesn't do spooky games? The clock. That's uh. Did it, did it, did it. That's all we got, I think. How much? How you doing? Doing okay. Okay. Gotta finish out that biome over there. 
took the, the more time shroom during dawn, so I gotta wait longer. The freaking dawn to be over. Gosh, frick. Make my farm bigger, go. Jailbreak. Oh, cat flush! Bruh! Good news. Super rare, give you stat bonuses per cat that you own. That type. Or the merrier with the cat flushes. Mini boss right here, I don't have to travel that far. Very nice. Is a cactus considered a tree? Current, well we do have a turret build. Decent turret build. Tell me right now, baby. Just say I do. Fertilizer? Probably need it, yeah. For enough of me complaining about fertilizer shortages. Biggest tip for this game, don't panic. Must be cool as cucumber to dodge. Gonna be a waste. I'm not even sure we're gonna get over to the other biome in time. Might have been wasteful. When else are we gonna use it though, right? Be realistic here. Always panic, got hit. Cactus is a succulent. Oop. Pressed E instead of F. Dumb. dumb. Foolish. Insubordinate and churlish. Time. That means if I don't get to this thing, the teleporter, it's gonna force me to walk all the way back next time. Get back to it. There we go. Perfect. Good at this game. That's why I watch you. I'll take it. Bye. Good deal. Good deal. What else we got? We got our current carrot turret. We need to put down. It's like a super turret. We got a bunch of roses. Wild, wild horses and roses Come take me away 
Wild Wild Horses couldn't take me away. I think it's the lyrics. Who is that? Rolling Stones? Need more fertilizer, man. to plant these things without having the fertilizer? Maybe. planting my best seeds and saving my crappy seeds because as soon as you get to that squirrel that turns all of your crappy seeds into better seeds we'll have more to work with get a ton of good stuff 6233 another rusty get your ace what's this cows carry more water and move faster I, uh, Watering isn't so necessary with the tractor that I currently have, gotta be honest. Yeah, we needed 2,000, we got it. 10,000. Chickens and turkeys have a 50% chance to turn weeds into flowers. We have one chicken, one turkey, not gonna be that helpful for us. Stat upgrade, I like it. Drone, I take it. Foraging berries charges to Drakater. Yes. And get this good even if I wanted, so thanks for that and letting me enjoy it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna save it for something better, I think. I'm gonna need two of these. Oh, no, we don't. We actually just need to finish up this biome. We'll need them eventually. These water crops. The other one I think is just more heartbeat seeds. A couple of them. I, I did say that watering isn't necessary, but I also said that I really wanted that upgrade, so I'm trying not to be a shit. Like turkey. Harvesting crops destroys nearby bullets. It really boils down to, I think, getting a lot of really good... Oh, here's the seed exchanger. It's not gonna be that strong right now, so I can honestly wait on that. We need some good pigeon scrolls, I think. Really ace this. 
Oh, I didn't even see that. And that's the one. That's some some good scrollage there. But we only plant good seeds from here on out, and then at some point in time we come all the way back and upgrade our crappy seeds. That should be the plan. Fertilizer drop at the very, very end. Son of a... I buy all that fertilizer that we just got. Just got here. Did you already do the last achievement? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, the, the one of the achievements is to kill six mini bosses without taking any damage in one day. Kind of forgot about that one. All right, I want to use that, but. You just wait till nighttime now. Wait till dusk finishes. me do try it next run I'm sure there will be a next run ever Oh, tonight. Tonight only. Need some better seeds here. Health and money is insane for this difficulty. Nice job. Thank you. It really was. It was the Vegeta skulls, those pink skulls that like moved across the screen all the time. They got me. Those are my nemesis. I struggled with those. Haunted Aaron, thank you so much. Oh, clock, I didn't say you're 65. I didn't even see that, I'm sorry. Is pretty good. Han and Aaron, six months sexy tier two sub. Yo, what's up, Han and Aaron? Okay, man. Must have been focused. 10,000 monies right now. Cows block bullets. We don't have that many cows. No to that. Uh, some old weeds become flowers. Yes, flower plays strong. 
bad, freaking good. Play upgraded. Um, biodegrader. Better seeds. We have all the bridge pieces we need. We do. Yep, 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 yep. I have a slept rib. It's the best. Uh, slept rib. I don't even know what a slept rib really means. To be honest. Fertilizer up, go. Burger everything, go. Hard to see the enemies through all of my drones. What's mine and what isn't mine? Bigger tractor. Sometimes they just don't show up like they should right there. And they just don't do that. They just attacked me again. Fucking jerk. My goal when I walk in is to try to kill the panther immediately. <laughs> that was awesome. Charge that up again. Slam that. Charge it up again via berries. Cataclysm. Nice to have. Back for this stuff. Spawns. Outband 32, what's up, Outband? Basically displaced and pinched cartilage. Slipped rib, is that the same thing as like a slipped disc? Overexertion, installing a heating duct system in a new house. Bitrate is not happy with this game. <laughs> The ability for that mushroom to overcharge your active item, mm, that's a good upgrade. That's a good one. That's fan service right there at its finest. Cutting weeds damages enemies. Nearby crops grow faster and fighting stats. All great things. Zero complaints. Water faster? No, drone damage and knockback. You guys water your crops? Are you insane? Hey kid, you just blowing from stupid town? If I pick flowers, it also damages nearby enemies. I don't know how I got shot. You know what? Like you said, taking damage on purpose. Great. Give me a shorter night, please. Make it end.
With a bullet. I, I just didn't see the bullet. I'm to the point now where I, I don't see most of the damage that happens to me. Fertilizer so fast now. Twenty two pineapples. to study but butts Busty patty you gotta do what you gotta do you know gun fixed but the spud rifle I gotta go spud I have to do it I will throw away a fully upgraded weapon just so I can spud oh no no I'm gonna starve I'm only at 10,000 money still Remember you saying that you were reading Name of the Wind. Is that correct? If so, did you finish it? No, I just uh, don't find much time to read at all, to be honest. I wonder if it's good on audiobook. A friend of mine borrowed it to me. It's just been sitting there on my nightstand. Okay. Um, maybe we should go trade our bad seeds in for good seeds at this point in time. We can do one more biome and then we do that. What is reading? Your spud obsession will be the death of you. It's literally the best thing, though. This is how I live. Me? Double rate of fire upgrade on this sucker, too. Oh, there's a damage upgrade that we didn't even take. If I have time, I should come back and, uh... Do that. Use this quick. Come back. That's unlocked. Haunted Aaron, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Old next retractor charge? Yeah. If you guys have been gifted a sub from Haunted Aaron, make sure to thank Aaron. Easy Ranger, PK Slice, Shark Bait, C Smith, uh, Katie Chaos. What? This one. Nice fertilizer here. Itch on my face. I've got an itch on my face! Do we not have a super tree yet? I just haven't been getting super trees at all lately. Oh, that's my bad. Gotta get out of the way of the snipers. Sling or double watering can. I'm gonna go sling. Auto shoots a bullet when I pick up fertilizer. Oh, 
all the way back at the start for that. The mini boss. You're welcome, Pete. Me all the anim mockeries. Fuck it. I'm going damage upgrade even though I'm losing time. Pretty much done anyway, it's just a mini boss. Flower shower. Oh, we weren't gonna go get that damage upgrade too. Where the boss nabs me. No, I walked it into the fucking boss. God, you're such a cheater. You can't just spawn underneath me. Now I'm taking damage. We have an over already. You wait an extra five seconds. Can you believe that? Chat. Audacity. It's gonna be a sub record run now. We have five banana trees. We should do a super banana. Suppose up in this corner then. No participation trophy. That's gonna really hurt our record run. No wonder we're struggling for uh, fertilizer. Hire me, Atama Crops. I'll do your next soundtrack for half the price. Flower power, my goodness. Look at that beauty. It's really a shame we don't have weeds grow faster. Banana. My lovely Nainers. Twelve thousand. Ah, my gun. We have. Is that. We have a whole other season to do nothing! <laughs> oh, we finished everything a season early. Helpful worm. That's pretty helpful. Worm. What do you want me to do? We crushed a fair number of veggies there. A turkey, another turkey. He's like, shit, we're not upgrades. Just give him turkeys, man. 
a uh, blood spell and a cataclysm. I'm gonna take both of those. Probably the blood rain too. Jackrabbit or shallot gun. Another one of these, so those. Gonna use some of these spells up before we uh, run a space for them. That ruined the bit rate for sure. Farm frenzy. Spud betrayed you. Time to get polygamy. Yeah, that'd be nice. There should be an achievement for marrying everybody. game sounds. I don't even feel like dumping out the rest of my fertilizer into that. Alright, let's go to the, the chair lady and get our crappy seeds traded for better ones. Worship the chair. Where's my chair? Honestly, I wouldn't mind taking damage, losing some time, and getting some damage upgrades. Got a heartbeat seed back for it anyways. Look, look at my damage stat. It's almost off the charts. Who's at the top? Where I'm headed next. I like the narrator for Name of the Wind. Fair amount, fair amount. My banana tree is unhappy. What should we do? Check for golden geese? I'm bored. Kill Beeson. How American of me. Oh, kill Bison out of boredom. How early settler of me. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, it's locked? You can't go back in? Oh, okay. Didn't know that. One time thing. Why are you snake? Helpful worm. Something uncovers helpful worms. It blocks bullets, I think. Get the bananas. Get more bananas. Not even enough weeds. There's a lawn chair, though. Nice, juicy lawn chair. What's the favorite dessert you've ever had in your entire life, chat? Go. Cheese. Cheese? You wanna elaborate on that one? PK's back from work. Peanut butter pie. Never even heard of it.
Yeah, this is not going to be a record-breaking run, you guys. We're just sitting on our hands. Bourbon apple pie. That sounds really good. Oreo ice cream. Pumpkin pie with whipped cream. Brownie sundae. Good ice cream sundae. Pecan pie. Cheesecake my aunt made from scratch. Cheesecake is so good. I haven't had cheesecake in a long time. I'm trying to, like, eat healthy. I'm trying to be on a good diet. Try not to get fat. Trying to live, it, you know, past 60, whatever, whatever that means. And on a complete opposite from healthy diet, says Phil Don't. What's a foreign dessert you'd like to try? Hmm. How about like a really good baklava? I don't think I've ever had uh, like a... I've, I think I've had it maybe a, like three times in my life and and uh, had some like super quick, ready to go someplace in like St. Cloud or some shit. You're already drunk. Can't really taste it. A flawful place. I'm on a seafood diet. Seafood and eat it. Beach to it. Exactly. Dutch oven peach cobbler, ah. Greek restaurants near me sell, sounds baklava. Sells baklava cheesecake? Bruh. Is that like instead of crust, it's baklava? Sounds awesome, not gonna lie. 722. Pretty weak. Pretty weak. What am I supposed to do, turkey? With all this extra time I have. I don't really want to spend my money, but I probably should. I probably, you know, let's see if we can last the night without spending any money on a weapon. This would be interesting. Greek dessert called Gacto Barico. It's cakey and warm, topped with vanilla ice cream. Everyone's making me hungry, but I do have cheese curds to help with that. Yeah, see, I don't have very much food at all. I just ate my last meal prep today. Rip. Rip last meal prep. I made this really delicious chicken. So I started uh, marinating, not marinating. I started, uh, what do you want to call it? Seasoning my chicken. I tried this thing, I follow this guy, Ethan Jablowski on, on YouTube, and he recommends instead of uh, putting oil and seasoning on your chicken, you actually season it with mayonnaise. So you put your whatever you want into the mayo and then coat the chicken with that before you cook it. Actually turned out really, really nicely because uh, if you coat it in oil and then seasoning, the oil drips off and it falls into the pan and burns. Whereas the mayo actually cooks onto the chicken, so all the seasoning sticks. So when you cook it, you, you can't even tell that it has mayo on it at all. However, it is coated with seasoning. Good stuff. Works great. It's not something that I ever would have considered before until I saw him do it. I was like, what? You are crazy. I want extra mayo on my chicken. But it turned out, like, really good. Mayo apply things like Miracle Whip. My fam doesn't do mayo. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you cook Miracle Whip if it would be the same or if it would get gross or burnt or whatever. I All I know is I used real mayo and it, it worked great. If you really think about it, like, I used to think mayo was super disgusting as a kid just because of the noise that it made, like, the, you know, like, if you, like, squished it around really quickly, it's really not that weird of a thing. It's, it's egg, egg white. 
it's it's a base in like probably like 70% of the sauces that you've ever had in your entire life. And all your salad dressings that you know and love. It's it's everywhere. You eat it a lot. Whether or not you want to admit it to yourself. It's really not that weird. So using it as like a a, a cooking tool, I guess. Makes a lot of sense. Real mayo is best mayo. What's the deal with Miracle Whip? Is it like, it's less calories? Is that the purpose of Miracle Whip? I've never really had Miracle Whip, I don't think. I've seen it around a lot, but that was... I wasn't really into mayo at that point in time. I'm not really into mayo, like I said. I use it as a tool. For other stuff. I don't just eat mayo. And I don't even like mixing, like, tomato uh, uh, ketchup and, and mayo to dip my fries in. I don't even... I don't like it that much. I don't put mayo onto my burger. I don't do that. Fine if you do, I'm just saying. I'm not a huge crazy fan of mayo, but it is actually really nice to cook chicken with. Like, people probably think I'm like, you know, mind controlled by big mayo. WTF is this game. Atomicroft is great. We've performed too well, and I don't have anything else to do in this game except for wait for it to be over. Like, we could just start playing stuff and then just... Harvesting it for nothing, I guess. I don't know. I'm just basically living off bananas at this point in time. All the turrets are doing such work. I knew I didn't need to buy a weapon. Used as a cheaper alternative to mayo. Cheaper, it's not even like more healthy. I have chipotle mayo. That's, uh, yeah, that's the kind of the point here is that uh, flavor gets carried by fat. So the chipotle sauce or, you know, like I said, the seasonings on the chicken. Mayo just carries flavor really, really well. Something about like fat coats your tongue better, which can disperse the flavors. Wow. Not really a chef or a scientist, so. But it, it definitely seems to work, like like chipotle mayos and stuff like that. Garlic, garlic aiolis. It's a fancy name for garlic mayo. It's so good. I should try to make my own chipotle mayo with like the actual cans of chipotle peppers. Or learn how to smoke my own chipotles. That would be dope. Smoked jalapeno is what a chipotle is. Can you make your own mayo? Probably. Gotta have a smoker for that, Huts. Gotta have a smoker to smoke things? Goodness. Who knew? Just line the outside with my, my crappy seeds so that they grow onto the crust. My mayo is something everyone needs to experience. It's so worth it. Interesting. Garlic aioli on ciabatta bread is essentially garlic bread for sandwiches. You can make your own mayo. It's just a bunch of eggs and oil. You need an emulsifier, though, or a really good hand blender. Emulsifier. The last day? No. I mean, it's technically the last day, and then we fight the boss, but then we have another next day boss thing. Cool upgrade, base. Yeah. Is there a limit to the amount of pigeon scrolls you can use in a day? Not the amount of pigeon scrolls you can use in a day, but the amount of pigeon scrolls you can currently hold. There's a limit on that.
feel like I really ought to save all of my fertilizers the last day. gonna wander check for a golden goose beeson a lot of too sweet ketchup you know it's really good bacon jam you know it's really good bacon ketchup which I'm pretty sure is just bacon jam and ketchup what's bacon jam pretty much just minced up caramelized caramelized candy bacon pretty much what's candy bacon Bacon with sugar. One time I did bacon and I just coated it. Oh, I found a golden goose. I got him. Look at that. Uh, I put maple syrup on my bacon and then cooked that. They're not great. Chocolate covered bacon. I'm, I'm sure it tastes good. I just don't want that on my eggs. I don't want that for breakfast. Mad lad, he did it. Better than it sounds. No, I'm, I'm sure it is good. It, it sounds more desserty, unless uh, good breakfast savory, which is what I was talking about. But I, I, I see what you mean. I believe you. Chocolate covered eggs. Chocolate mayo. Oop, I didn't mean to take that damage up. I'm interested in candy bacon now. Yeah, candied bacon, it's it's super easy. It's just like brown sugar on your bacon and you cook that. And it, it kind of like makes this like super sweet, crusty caramel thing on it. Bake in the oven, throw it in a pan lined with tin foil bed with the edges fall foiled. Hold it up to catch the grease. 10 minutes at 425, then put the bacon and cook for another 10 minutes. Perfect every time. Uh, yeah, no. Oven bacon is, is definitely the way to go if you really care about, like, super even cooked bacon. Turns out great. It really renders the fat, too. Especially good when the bacon is really thick. I would only recommend oven bacon if it's thick bacon. I wouldn't even, how would that even turn out if it was thin bacon? Would that even work? Ferris Argyle, eight months. Thank you so much for the resub. On the last stretch here of Atomic Crops. Do it. I hate this itsy bitsy so much. That's such a drag. Turrets will probably take care of most of it, though. We have really, really strong turrets right now. Get your ass back here, you. Uh oh. So annoying! Damaged him and got bananas in one go. Crunchy or chewy bacon? Crunchy? Crispy bacon. Crunchy bacon. I prefer chewy, I prefer both. All I really care is that the fat's rendered and I don't have to like wrestle with it. 
Because if it's super chewy, you just basically floss your teeth with it and you just jam bacon up in between your teeth and you're like, all right, I'm good. Guess I'll be tasting bacon the rest of the day. I like overcooked bacon. I prefer raw. I'll need Jesus. Not a bad taste. Make it sound like tasting bacon all day wouldn't would be a bad thing. Any vegans in chat? Vegetarians? How disinterested are you in this bacon conversation? And how let down are you by bacon alternatives? I saw videos on like carrot bacon. That is vegan overall, very let down. Sausage is king, you know, I gotta, I gotta agree with you there. Sausage is king. Especially if you're gonna eat out anywhere, it's if it's fast food or not fast food, they always give you that shitty little stringy, chewy piece of shit bacon on like your bacon egg sandwich. And you're like, ugh. Just give me the sausage patty. It's like 10 times more food. I, I don't rip it all out of my patty when I eat it. Thanks for agreeing. No one I've met ever agrees with me. If I'm cooking at home, the bacon that I have, the super thick cut, well cooked, fat rendered bacon is gonna be top notch, especially if it's like candy or like that said the maple thing that I did to it last time. It's gonna beat the shit out of any sausage that I'm gonna make. Every single place out though. You, you get the sausage. The one negative part about sausage is when you get that bite of like bone or cartilage. That's a little disturbing. Disturbing? Disturbing. Just don't eat pork. I'm not that interested. Never had that with sausage. You never bitten into a sausage and then got like, like almost busted your teeth on something. It happens to me all the time. Gristle. It disturbles me too. All right. The finale. What my mom calls it. It's not, it's actually bone and cartilage because the way that they mainly make sausage, unless it's some really, really fancy, you know, all beef, whatever sausage thing. They just take all the leftovers, they cut it all off, right? And the stuff that they're not putting out there is like pork chops or whatever it is. Sausage is generally a mix of a bunch of different meats too. They just kind of throw it all together, grind it all up and, and call it a day. So some bone and some cartilage can make it in there. Look at those bananas. We're literally crushing bananas because we, we got so many bananas. I wasn't even trying. Almost swallowed one of the pin bones from a fish. It's tough and chewy, feels like pebbles. Yeah, they just disturbs me. Double damage when we're energized is pretty good. We have the, the cup too, I think, so we're energized by killing. Oh, 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 yes. And a mockery aurora. Between three chickens. Oh, I'm gonna go to the flower shower. Ooh. Sriracha soaker, I guess. Sausage versus chor chorizo. Chorizo. Chorizo? Chorizo is just like a Mexican spice sausage or whatever spice. It is sausage still. See that? I really should have bought that. Really, 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 really should have bought that. But chorizo is very good. 
I like it. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. It's raining, dumbass. Just try to light my stuff on fire. I dare you. It's a lot of pumpkin. Getting ready for Halloween. That'd be perfect. Halloween update. Oh, I walked into a Vegeta skull. Can we finish it in one swipe? This might be it right here. All we need. One is all you need. Go. Oh, you son of a gun. You did it. You did it. You did it. You fucking did it. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Almost lost it. She done been doo doo. 152 extra just from the bonus mode so far. I don't even know where my crosshair is. No, we're gonna lose it! Yeah, we lost it. Tier two cat. <laughs> you found a cat plushie. Damn straight I did. We didn't even get close to the all time best. We got half. Oh my God. I thought we did well. I thought we were doing well. We didn't even get half of the way to the freaking frick frick. Darn it. Horrible. That I call El Terrible. Look at this guy, though. Look at this fiery cat. Is that my tier five? I don't even have a tier six or whatever it is. Uh, homing pigeon chance that the pigeon will return when used. Plus zero percent. Is that saying, yeah, I think I have zero of those cats. Good. Good plushie to get. One that I currently don't have any of. My favorite. This one. The plushie I think I just got. But yeah, that's one of my tier six. I do have tier six, but I don't have a top tier. That's what I meant to say. This is crazy. So resource intensive to do this. That's only, that's just a, a second tier six. If I get one more of these, one more of those, we can get a top tier cat. Gotta know, I gotta, I, I want it. How how salty am I gonna be though if I get one top tier cat and then I get that same exact top tier cat seven years later when I finally get enough cats to sacrifice to the cat gods? My god. Ugh. You're pretty. Extra salty. Alright, we crushed it though. Time year nine, like 
crushed it too hard. That was embarrassing on the game. Also embarrassing on the score. It was not a very good build. But thank you guys on YouTube for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video.